DNA cloning is a method for isolating a particular sequence of DNA from a complex mixture of different DNA sequences. In order to clone a fragment of DNA, we need to insert it into a vector, usually a highly modified phage or plasmid that can replicate in a host cell. Generally, a plasmid vector contains three elements, a cloning site where the foreign DNA fragment can be inserted, a drug resistance gene which destroys antibiotics, in this case ampicillin, to allow selective growth of the host cell, and a replication origin to allow the plasmid to replicate in the host cell. To insert foreign DNA, we must first use a restriction enzyme to cleave the vector at the cloning site. Here, ECO-R1 cleaves the palindromic sequence GAATTC to produce single-stranded ends called sticky ends. These can hybridize with any piece of DNA that has also been cut with ECO-R1. Foreign DNA containing the sequence we wish to clone is digested with ECO-R1 and then mixed with the cleaved vector. The sticky ends of the foreign and plasmid DNA molecules hybridize and then are sealed into phosphodiester linkages by the enzyme DNA ligase, creating a recombinant plasmid. Each of these recombinant plasmids contains the inserted DNA fragment, an ampicillin resistance gene, and a replication origin. A pool or library of circular recombinant plasmids is thus created. Each plasmid carries a unique fragment of foreign DNA, as indicated by the colored arrows. Next, the host cells, E. coli bacteria, are added to the recombinant plasmids. The cells have been treated with calcium chloride to make them permeable to DNA molecules. Through a process called transformation, a few cells take up a recombinant plasmid, while most other cells do not. The bacterial cells are poured onto a plate of nutrient auger containing the antibiotic ampicillin. With ampicillin in the auger, only cells resistant to the drug can grow. At 37 degrees, the cells will grow and multiply. Because they cannot move on the auger, each will produce a separate colony of cells. The non-transformed cells lack the plasmid with the ampicillin resistance gene and die. Cells that have a plasmid are resistant to ampicillin and survive. The replication origin allows the plasmid to replicate by using the host cell's enzymes. Plasmid replication is independent of host cell division, but plasmids are distributed to each daughter cell when the host cell divides. As the plasmids replicate and the host cells multiply, the number of copies of the recombinant plasmid is greatly amplified. The multiple daughter cells form a colony or clone. Because all the host cells in a colony are derived from a single cell, they all contain copies of the same recombinant plasmid with its fragment of foreign DNA. A variety of assay methods can now be used on the bacterial colonies to determine which contains the particular DNA sequence we wish to isolate. I find your lack of faith disturbing. So look, the cloning shit is not, is not what you think it is. It's not as simple as, well, why would somebody want to clone that nigga? What that nigga got? If you understand how the physical world is a reflection of the spiritual world and you start fucking with the DNA and, and shit, you understand that you're tapping into some other shit. You're like ripping a portal open on, on some shit. The movie Boys of Brazil, uh, even the movie um, Congress, 
uh, she agrees to give them her image. She, she, they like scan her or some shit. And then she goes into this digital world. So everything is connected and they need the influential people to maintain the, the mind control <clears throat> and how they program your subconscious mind to respond to things. And they need these influential leaders to trigger your mind control, to trigger your trauma, basically trigger your trance. It's kind of a complex thing to grasp because the 1% that use this occultic knowledge to control the masses, they teach you a certain way to think. You know, you think you're on a sphere moving millions of miles through space. Why is it that all alien stories and abduction stories have to do with greys? You know, if you think with aliens, like, wouldn't it be like some other type of shit? Wouldn't it be like just all different kinds of shit? But it's always greys, it's always them. Uh, since since uh, Kemet in Egypt and the Atlanteans were were fucking around with genomics, basically tampering with the DNA pool, tampering with the gene pool, created a, a mutation which then moved into the ground, and and they can't survive on the surface. And so, in order to, to get the control, they cloned the leaders, and then they were basically replaced the leaders. And that's why in the Simpsons you all see them rip off the skin, and they're like aliens underneath. It's not even on no racism shit, but it's literally understanding the genome and how the the original, the aboriginal man carries uh, melanin. And I know most of y'all probably just like, oh man, shit, melanin, man, just shit to keep you protected from the sun. Like, nah, bro, it's deeper than just skin color. Shit ain't got nothing to do with skin color. You need to learn the metaphysical properties and the quantum properties of melanin and what it actually does. Like speaking from a scientific standpoint, this is no conspiracy. This is, you know, there's a whole science behind this shit. You know, they teach us this basic earth science, but you gotta understand the metaphysics of of the kundalini energy and the pineal gland and, um, you know, your spinal fluid. And you also need to understand if only a certain kind of people produce it, why are those people the most oppressed people I was researching Dr. Sebi and all his work and how this nigga's been curing paralysis, AIDS, cancer, blindness, nigga, since the fucking 80s. He brought all 70 of his patients into the court to prove this shit. And ain't nobody put this nigga on? Nobody. And also what niggas don't know is that Left Eye was going to see Dr. Sebi in Honduras where his facilities were. It, it's all connected to why uh, certain black leaders get replaced and all of a sudden they switch up and they doing shit that they preached against they spent their whole legacy preaching against some shit and then all of a sudden they cool with it that's why you don't never see these niggas there's certain niggas you just never see in public you don't never see these niggas in public and they either they either kill them or replace them or they fake their death they go into hiding I'm telling you, look, I'm telling y'all, like, I know, like, I, I, I study this shit. I know this shit. I'm not even saying it on a, on a cocky shit, but it's just the truth. Like, that's what the fuck is going on. From politics to hip-hop music to rock music. Call me crazy. I got lots of friends in the industry who I can't talk to no more. Can't even get them on the phone. I'm talking about some where I've been at. Nigga, I've been here. So it's it's all connected, but they're not gonna talk about this shit. They're gonna they're gonna run a Bob Flat Earth headline probably. They ain't gonna talk about this cloning shit. Thank you for watching Up TV. If you like this video and would love to see more, check out these great videos here, and don't forget to subscribe to Up TV and Up TV Two for even more great videos.